still get that feeling. It's a, it's a little different when you, you're a little bit more familiar with it. It turns from nerves to just excitement. So st definitely still get it, but it, it kind of fades as far as, you know, the, the anxiety of the whole deal, but definitely ready for work. How excited are you then, Father, just to see what this looks like with the new, you know, the new personnel around you, especially the quarterback? Yeah, man, real excited. I mean, we've been working hard at it for a minute now, been together since OTAs and, you know, been grinding to get it going in the right direction. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll be fun to see once we get some stuff on tape, what it looks like, that way we can make corrections and, and keep improving. Devontae, uh, any adjustments you've had to make to your game in the off season with a new quarterback and Jimmy or a same old? No, same thing, just getting getting adjusted to a new person throwing it. But as far as my game, no. Are there still little little matchup things that excite you? I mean, the Broncos have a lot of hype on their corners. I guess that's the kind of thing you're excited about. Not, not, not. I don't honestly. I don't care who I play against. I go out there. I, I don't discriminate. I treat everybody the same way when we when we go out there. And um, you know, and that's not like a disrespectful thing, but it's just uh, I'm more concerned about what we're doing as a football team and what I'm doing personally um, over what the defense has lost. Dante, now that you're you know, one in a year two with this coaching staff, how do you feel they've done in terms of Good. We got some some personal coaches. Um, definitely some guys that um, are interested in learning about the person, which is a, a vital piece of, of connecting and, and doing well as a team. Is understanding the people that you're working with. So um, we got some some guys that, that preach uh, communication and, and just openness and you know kind of not not going into anything with any surprises, but but you know like I said, open communication, and I appreciate that. From you. You're somebody that's local. You have something. Last year throughout games, um, you know, we, we, we talk, you know, I come back, they, 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 I mean, it's not even something that they want to listen to. They, they say, hey, we, we need to hear that from you. Anything you feel out there, obviously, you know, there's a there's a scale as far as how much they trust certain people coming in with this certain thing. You know, if you're a rookie, you can't walk in here and say, hey, coach, I need to run this on that guy or whatever. You know, I'm, we don't need to be a man on defense. Like, we do this. It, it comes with the, you know, the, the reps and the respect of, Understanding, obviously knowing that the guy knows what he's talking about, so um, it's a two-way street. And I try not to come in with too much stuff. That way, it's it's, it's felt. You know, the person that's talking all the time, nobody really wants to hear him the same way. So um, I try to I try to be selective a lot of times. So I bring things to him, but they do a good job of applying it. Um, you know, when, when it's when it's time. Bobby, you're obviously one of the leaders of this team, a captain. Uh, second year, or the situation that occurred yesterday with Chandler. Um, you make sure that that doesn't. Everybody's got to focus on what we got to focus on. And the only thing that's important this week is this game. So got to lock in on that. Devontae, this offseason, you spoke spoken publicly about you know, talking to Josh, kind of being there for him. You know, how much of a difference have you noticed with him being back in the locker room just over the week? I mean, I've noticed it in you know my mood, other other guys' moods, just having a, a key piece of your football team around. Um, it's it's going to naturally boost everybody's mood. Uh, you know, they're, they're willingness to come to work. Everybody's been coming to work and it's been the same as it was last year, but you can, it's a little bit more fire when you get one of your guys back and when you get a guy like Josh back who's a captain and, you know, a leader of this football team, you know, it kind of, like I said, gives, gives the team a little extra juice. There's some young guys on this offense, Trey Tucker, Michael Mayer. Um, you take them under your wing a little bit, especially in a week like this, to kind of settle those nerves so that they're ready to perform the way No, they're on their own. Uh, I was on my own there on there. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, do you feel like they're kind of wired? For of that? course. I mean, these, these guys, these are easy guys to work with. Trey's one of my favorite rookies I've ever had. Obviously, he's a crazy talent out there. He's got speed and a lot of things that are tough to coach. But just him as a person makes it easy, uh, you know, coming to work with him. And, you know, he's the type of guy, he, he told me about a month ago, he came up and said, I'm going to ask you at least one question every single day and learn something from you, you know, whether it's football, something about life. Whatever, I'm gonna make sure I ask you something every day. He's been on it. It's been a couple of days where he hasn't. So, but I, 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 I watched it like the first four days. He came up to me with something every day. So, you know, working with guys like that, and obviously, I don't know. I've been working directly with Michael with the, the same, and he's a he's a quiet guy as well. But you can tell, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be having a conversation with Hoop about something. He'll kind of creep over there and <laughs> start listening a little bit. So these guys are willing to learn and fun to work with. So it makes it easy. What kind of questions he ask you? I mean, all different types of things. That type of stuff will we'll keep between uh, me and Trey.
portray, but it's, it can be something about a route, something about life. You know, how do I deal with, you know, uh, you know, coming in balancing a new playbook and, and adding your own sauce to routes and different, just different things. It's been a million different times we've talked about stuff. And you know, he's a he's a quiet kid, but you know, one on one in those type of situations, that's where you see him start to kind of. Um, I don't know what the word is, but just, you know, not unfold, but you know what I mean. Like, open up a little bit, I guess that's the word. Open up and, and get a little bit more comfortable in, in, uh, in talking and continue to find myself. Have you noticed, like, how, sorry, you noticed like, a progression in his questions? I'm like, oh, he's starting to get it. <laughs> I mean, he's asked amazing questions out the gate, so it's, it's really just a wide range. It's not always the question that I'll get that's, that's like, wow, amazing question, but it'll be, you know, sometimes it is, and it's just like a real question. You know, it's, like I said, so it's a pretty wide range. You, you mentioned that he had crazy talent. Um, you know, as you get further along in your career, can you start sensing that and seeing that from younger players? Like they got a little something special. I mean, you can see it at, at any point, no matter where you're at in your, you know, your, your development. Um, it's, it's easy to see when a guy gets it and very mature. Um, obviously, there's hundreds of things to work on. I mean, I got a whole lot to work on still. So there's obviously things you can build on, but the type of questions that he asks, the detail that, that he has. The way he studies and the way he goes about it, not a big talker. You know, he kind of he's, he's like an old school rookie the way you want him. So, um, like I said, when, when they're that way, it makes everything a lot more smooth and easier. And along those lines, last um, question. Guys. Along those lines, I talked with Nate Hobbs, and he said that that you make him a better quarterback. That you you know you taught him patience and route running and whatnot. Um, do you take pride in that as well, like even helping out defensive players to try to help them? Um, better their game? For sure. I take just as much pride in helping Nate as I do any of the other receivers. I mean, we all, we all want you to, you know, we're doing this in camp the whole time, but at the end of the day, we all try to, you know, I want him to be able to cover the things that, um, you know, he's going to see on, on every Sunday. So when, when we have opportunity, and obviously I'm going to have more creativity to certain things, and uh, I assure him sometime if I come back, you know, with a win on the route, like, you're not going to see anybody to run it that way. So, you know, you, you'll be good, you know, covering <laughs> it the, the cookie cutter way, I want to make sure I give you a little extra something to see that way, you know, on Sundays it's easier. And it's, he's the same way as Trey and those other young guys where he's always asking questions and, you know, locked in if I'm talking to somebody else trying to figure out what it is that he can do to make himself better too. So, you know, everybody's on that will be a good team. Thanks, guys. Thank you.